Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And don't forget to drop down in the description box and join the chatter box if you are over 18. It is $1.99 to join. It's a paid channel membership anyways. Lolas, I have the goat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I get that from spring flower oh my gosh she'd be like serenity you got the goat <laughs> anyway guys i love her um if you guys haven't checked out her channel it's spring flower i think it's a spring flower babies i don't know but it starts out there search that and it'll come up but anyway um this is noah and baby noah is the willow scope he's the willow asleep oh look at you got a little bit of water in your ear he just got a little rinse off and so he is the prototype number two for um by claire teller um he was painted rooted for sculpted by claire teller dolls um he is what is considered to be a kit he was well his edition was for a kit edition he's the prototype so um but yeah, so the kit is like 15 um, as far as the kit go. Um, and then it was three prototypes. So was it? Yes, I think it was. Yes, it was three prototypes. Um, and he is number two. So anyway, that is that. He is. Um, he has a drink and wet system, armature, elbow armatures, and he's in her soft blend. Um, soft blend different from her doll blend um doll blend is more marshmallowy as some may say <laughs> and um but yeah but he's really soft he's softer than the regular equiflex 20 but not the same as her special blend for her dolls and i do not really care to get into all that difference of the doll da -da -da -da. Um, but it, look at me. We got a clear, we got to get that out of your ears. Well, you got something in your ears. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love my baby. He stays in my room and he has like no product in his hair. I, I mainly, I also wanted to rinse his hair out. Cause like if your baby, if like you use like fabric softener and water or anything in your baby hair and it starts to get where it's kind of like dull, like the sheen when it dry, it still look kind of like, you know, dull looking. It's probably got buildup on it and it's time to rinse it out. Make sure though when you rinse it out that you lean them backwards so that the product or whatever you use don't run on their, on their paint and backwards, that's the best thing. But anyway, needless to say, we're gonna get him dressed. We're gonna get you dressed, man. Oh, you got some fuzzies on you. Sometimes, you know, that's why I like to use like lint free like towels or whatever. Now, I didn't even really put him all the way in the like I basically like rinsed him in my sink. Oh, Lord. I basically just rinsed him in my sink. Let me get his diaper on. Oh, yeah. I was going to put him on this diaper. I still think I want to put him on that diaper. So I'm putting him on this and. I was going to just put him on this and then I, but I, I think I'm going to put him on that. I think I am going to still put him on a colorful diaper because I just want to. So for many of you, you guys are probably cooking and cleaning and preparing for a guest, you know, or, you know, just immediate family. Some people, I know some people said they're sticking to under 10, you know, they have a, a number they um they're eating on their patios like outside so they can still social distance while they you know deal with this holiday and also try to be safe with the pandemic um and so i am doing the same i normally host thanksgiving for my family in entirety but instead it's just immediate family only so just my kids will be here my grandbaby um pretty much um so yeah we'll be less than 10 and 
you know, of course we won't be breathing all up in each other's face um, type thing. So, you know, we're going to practice being safe too, right, Poop Poop? <laughs> so sweet. So, yeah. Whoa, whoa. All right. So, yeah. So, I just love, like, I love, like, when when these babies, like, just wrinkle up. There's things that I've, I've begin to do with them that I didn't used to always do and I'm getting to the point where I start to like feel them like you know kind of I am kind of like finding myself like they're touching their silicone a little bit more like this versus you know in the past I normally don't but so so yeah so Noah right now is the only baby that I have in my collection that was totally completed by Claire Teller and for you guys that are new to my channel, you guys know she's like my favorite sculptor for silicone. Um, and, um, but I am exploring lots of other new sculptors and I'm excited about that. And so I found, you know, different people that I like their silicone a lot as well. What did I do with your other sock? I'm gonna get upset if I dropped it behind this bed and I gotta crawl up under the bed. Not while the camera on, I can't do it. I'm not doing it. I refuse to do it. I think that's what I did though. Yep, I see it. Ah! I am not crawling under the bed with you guys on camera. All right, so we gonna, we gonna keep it moving. Noah, why would you do that to me? <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> oh, Ill's Bill. Blame the baby. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, I thought this blanket had pretty fall colors, like, in it. And you guys know how much I love elephants, so I kind of went there with it. But, yeah. Um, so... A lot of people always, like, think he's, like, a giant or, you know, but he's really very newborn size. Um, not newborn, I'll say, like, well, still, I guess you still consider them newborn. Maybe, like, four or five weeks old type baby. This is him on his back. Oh, I mean his tummy. That's how he look on his tummy. Um, just, just showing. But he is, um, he's a very, uh, he's just long, I should say that. Like, see, this is a newborn diaper and you see how well it fits him. He's, he's a, he's a long baby, but he's not like overly huge. Hey, that's right. I love for poop, poop, poop. <laughs> Let me see what you guys see. And then I'm going to try to get him in this sleeper and that I've dropped the sock. Ugh, I hate when I do that. So, yeah, let me see. So, like, he's very, very, very detailed. You can, I don't know if you guys can see. Like, he's, he's super 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 duper modeled so I love that about her work but anyway nevertheless let me get him in the sleeper see how he's gonna look in that that's mama fat boy that's mama come on so yeah you have to support their heads because they their heads do wobble and you know if it was a baby that was this little a real baby you would not just pick it up by the arms or legs or not support the head so he's like no different um he's the same and so yeah i really i really 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 am happy that i kept him i do miss my noah my not noah i always called him mr called him noah I miss my Nigel Poo. Nigel was beautiful as well. But his mommy is loving him like I mentioned before. And I'm so thankful that he went to her. Because she's just 
a good mommy. She seems like she's just really enjoying him and she really appreciates him. And so, um, I really like that. And I get to see him from time to time when she posts him. And that always makes me feel good. <laughs> it does. It really does. Seriously, guys. Because that's, that's a baby that I really, really love. And like I said, him and Noah is pretty much painted the same, but of course different colors. But the technique is pretty, very much alike. Um, but yeah. So it's, it's nice. Um, I'm hoping to continue to grow in my, my craft to where I can get as detailed as these babies. I know I won't be as the same, but we all have our different styles too. There are some things that I like that I do that are different than um, Claire. And um, there's things that, of course, that I love about her work. It's very flawless. That's the one thing. Um, I mean, but it's it's handmade just like anything else. So there are things I can, if I wanted to nitpick pick to death, I mean, you could do that with anybody work. So that's why I like, I'm enjoying like right now you know, seeing variety of sculpts and variety of um, different silicone pores and stuff like that because I'm finding that I am actually um, equally enjoying some of the other babies as well. And that really makes me feel good because for a while I was starting to get really a little bummed out because I felt like, you know, since I don't have the money that I used to have as far as or the access to selling like I used to sorry I'm walking away from the camera if you guys can't hear me I was just trying to see if I had some I thought I seen some blue socks over here that I could have put him on uh, but I don't think I think I I don't think they're right here so eh, I might have to pull off to put him some socks on to after the video but anyway it's, it's okay um I got all these different socks and none of them are gonna be good I wanted to put him on maybe a different blue but that's not the blue um and this cream I don't now that I think about it, I want to put him on cream on cream either Where's his little shoes? I had some shoes. Maybe I put them. I probably took them into my room. Um, but anyway. Um, yeah, so what was I saying about the collecting different babies? Oh, yeah, because I, I, as I was starting not to have the money or the, you know, not wanting to sell all my dolls to buy new dolls. I started feeling kind of bombed out like, oh, God, I'm never going to be able to get another silicone baby that I, you know, love and enjoy and stuff. So when I started, like, realizing that, like, I can buy me a kit and paint it myself and then I just really, really love it. And I really genuinely enjoyed it and, and loved them. I started to feel better. I was like, oh, thank God. I was like, OK, so. You know, it's not over for me. <laughs> I still got, I still got a chance, guys. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that I've been able to explore. So, I'm just hoping that one of them, somebody, come out with the perfect girl kit that I want, cause I want a newborn or preemie kit that I can paint myself. And yeah. Since I already got my ideas planned out. <laughs> okay, so that, that, that don't really work. Okay. But it almost worked. See, it don't work because they're so wide. If they wasn't so wide, why they have to make me so wide? If they was like... Mm, they just look so big and bulky. I like you finna go climbing the mountains. I ain't feeling that. Like, seriously. Y'all feeling that? I ain't feeling it. Like, 
No, I say these shoes too big, mom. They not too big into actual size. They just wide. I don't like that. Anyway, that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you guys think about him in these colors. And those big old gigantic little boots. They just look so wide on his feet. I like them. <laughs> I like the color, but I like them. Anyway. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. Um, oh yeah, and just a disclosure, like sometimes the lighting just kind of picks up his undertones, but he is actually, I think today, cause I got the window open and I don't have like light directly on him, on him. This is really, it's showing up his color better. So that's my little man. So I, you know, that's the thing when, when people paint, you know, with you know lots of colors and stuff like that the lighting really can affect the way it come across on camera because the light might capture pull out one color more than the other and stuff so it's very hard to be able to see what he looks like in person but he's beautiful just there we go all right there we go later